Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Monday the 28th of October, the local media headlines today. Now, this was to have been a big week for Spaceport Cornwall, but once again it's a case of excitement delayed as Richard Branson announced yet another last-minute postponement. There'll be nothing doing in California for at least another fortnight. This means there'll be nothing significant to report, or at least nothing positive, if County Hall goes ahead with the scheduled special briefing for councillors on Friday. If they do cancel that briefing, then Cornwall's spaceport promoters can spend more time at that trade fair in Washington. Sooner or later, someone's going to realise that this is no longer funny. Cornwall Reports also had more details about what's going on within the Cornwall and Isles of Scilly Local Nature Partnership, which has issued a new statement to clarify its position on the spaceport. That, and Mr Branson's latest thoughts about flying to Mars, could be even further justification to cancel Friday's briefing. The BBC was among those to report a case of norovirus, which has closed a Cornish holiday camp. Up to 90 guests have been affected at the Mullion Holiday Park on the Lizard, with children and adults reporting vomiting and diarrhoea. Pirate FM covered the various flood warnings which came with the weekend's heavy rain. The Falmouth Packet told readers how signalling problems were delaying trains out of Cornwall. The Cornish Times reported how people in Saltash have launched a pebble memorial to soldiers killed in conflicts. It followed the discovery that the names of scores of local men were missing from First World War memorials. And finally, Cornwall Live says it's going to snow. It just doesn't say where or when. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.